When I was 12, my mother took me to, it's not called that anymore, but the Keele Opera House, and I saw the ballet Swan Lake, and I got so turned on, I said, I think what I'm doing isn't exactly the same. And I was on point a little bit too early, and I did Arkansas Traveler, and I did a toe tap uh, t on my toes, toe tap with taps on the bottom of them, to Alexander's Ragtime bang Band, and I had to sing. And so I thought, mm, this is really not what I want. So that's when I got turned on, and we found another place to study, and I, I went another direction. Wanted to go to New York, and my mother let me go as a young dancer to study every summer in School of American Ballet, and eventually uh, Thalia Mara, where I really took the most of my training to be a teacher. In the photos, I remember um, just, uh, I just, you can see in the photos, I just remember her looks of just, it's like, not that her hands are physically on me, but her hands are on me, you know. Sorry, it makes me emotional. It was a really important time in my life. Um, Miss Alexander was so great, and my own mother was so great. And I really appreciate it now as a mother. I, I look back and I didn't realize at the time, sorry, how great it all was. And I appreciated it. So she was a great teacher. Like a very strict, wonderful second mother, you know, no BS. <laughs> My first name is Alexandra, and the last name is Zaharias. They call me Miss A. And when I first started teaching, uh, I was Madam Alexandra. Then the next generation changed it to Miss Alexandra, and now I'm Miss A. So uh, you can see how times have changed. <laughs> well, I started on uh, the Central West End on uh, uh, olive, oil and olive in uh, 1947 and um, it was a beautiful two-story building with skylights. It was just perfect from what I came from in New York. So it was ideal studio. I'm a St. Louisan, yes I am, and uh, the streetcar came down in front of the studio so students could take the streetcar to come to take their classes and uh, one day they removed the tracks. Well, they didn't have transportation, and in those days, most people only had a one-car family. And so I said, I better move. And so then I moved to University City. And uh, I stayed in University City for quite some time, but I outgrew the, the location as well as the, the space. So when I decided to come out to Chesterfield, everybody said, why are you going out so far? There's no, no one out there. It's, I mean, it's a... Uh, a waste from where we all are. And I said, I think it has a future, and I know that I'm going to the right place. So I've been here for over 40 years. Passe, <laughs> David Lepe. And then relevé, take it, no, no, put your foot on the bar. Put your foot on the bar and relevé and bring your arms up in fifth. I love it and that's my, that's been my life. Uh, I wa always wanted to be a teacher from the time I was 12 years old. And um, it was just something that I was, I think I was just born to do. And especially now at this age, I'd be very bored being at home. So, you know, it's, it's, it's my life. It keeps me uh, current. It keeps me in good health and being with people and young people especially. There's nothing nicer than that. I mean, to make yourself feel happy all day. So a lot of them start with me when they're four years old, so they're part of my family. 
and um, they grow up and uh, I encourage them to uh, keep it up and not to give up and to uh, go other places and study as well as with me to meet other teachers, to meet other dancers and find out really if that's the kind of life they want and if not I'm sure they carry everything they learn from me on their back as, as well and go wherever they go it's going to be a successful life for them. If there's anything I would like to share about Miss Alexandra Zaharias is that I do believe in my heart and soul that she is the most passionate and dedicated ballet teacher you will ever meet, ever, because it has never been about her. It's always been about the students. The students come first. Everything is about the students. I know about many times when you've paid for things out of pocket um, to, to take care of us, and it shows. We, we all love her. We're dedicated to her. It's not so much what we learn in class, but that we learn how to learn, how to take a class, how to get the most out of a class, regardless of who the teacher is. She, she teaches us how to learn. And that's, that's a gift. Not, I mean, there's a lot of good teachers, but that's a gift that, that she has, that she's bestowed upon the rest of us for so many years. Miss Alexandra always wanted to be a teacher. That was one of the earliest things that she shared. I've always wanted to teach. She had chosen, um, after some thought, to be married to dance, that she was dedicating her life to starting a school, and then a company, and then creating a community in St. Louis for the art of ballet, the art of dance. Uh, Alexandra taught us to love classical music, to be expressive, as well as to learn the skills of being a good dancer. I'm Megan Buckley. It's, it's the little things and it's the finesse of, um, that you don't realize that you have here at Miss A Studio. Well, for me, I love music, and um, I get really excited when um, great music is on, and I really just feel passionate, and I just feel like I have to show it. Um, Miss A really taught us um, about classical music, and she made sure we knew about what ballet was from, and um, that's just on the very tip of what she teaches us, but for me, I think connecting with the music and the, the passion that I had for it, um, I guess there wasn't one certain moment. It was just giving her giving us the opportunity to go on stage and um, feeling really professional at a young student level. I knew I, I knew I was in it for a long time. I knew I feel like it's what I'm meant to do. I, and Miss A really gave me that gift here. Let's just say Miss Alexandra is expert at uh, creating a whole dancer, and uh, that's what I will always be forever grateful to her. Uh, because she, while she taught us a strong technique and a clean and pure technique, I think she also brought a lot more to it than that. I think she, she taught everyone a true love of the art form. You, the minute you walk in her studio, there's a, a sense of, uh, of just the essence of ballet. And I think that's what I felt immediately when I was a, a youngster. And, uh, and still feel now when I, I come into her studio, I'm in awe of just the, the whole art of ballet. And I think that's uh, what I really took with me, is the, the love of the art form. When you walked in, 
you were going to give 100% or you, or you just weren't going to do class. There was a little picture in uh, the, the old studio that said, uh, and it was a little cartoon of, of you, <laughs> and it said, if you're well enough to come to class, you're well enough to dance. And that was, you know, you came in, you, you, you better give it your all. <laughs> <So>. <laughs>going to Siberia, being sent to Siberia, <laughs> figuratively, not literally. Anytime we made a mistake, uh, Missae would send us to Siberia, and that was scary, but it got, it got our attention because who would think of going to Siberia? Well, I think that's one of the aspects that I, th I think was very invaluable um, in the training I got here. Um, basically, Missae worked tirelessly to give us performing opportunities. Um, and at the end of the day, being on stage is where a young dancer learns their craft, works on their artistry, works on their stage presence. I think one of the most important things I've taken away from Ms. Alexandra is professionalism. Um, from an early age, she instilled uh, self-discipline, uh, work ethic, a focus, uh, looking after your, taking pride in your appearance. Um, she instilled that in us all. Um, she also taught us class etiquette, how to respect your classmates, work as a team, um, 
respecting, you know, making sure we respected any guest artist that walked through the door, a guest choreographer, and of course, Miss Alexander herself, any teacher that walked through the door. I, I knew that I wanted to become a professional dancer, actually, the first time I met Miss A. And so seeing these professional dancers and being able to perform, I mean, just a little bit with them, but to be able to perform with them, and it was astounding. And I just, I knew right then that I had to get serious about this and I had to go to Alexander Ballet and this is what I wanted to do. I feel like Miss A, she is just so special. She, you go elsewhere and you see these amazing technical dancers everywhere. They're everywhere, but it's so rare to see a true performer and that's that's what Miss A pushes all the time. You you can't do a plie without performing that plie. And it's it's crazy how impressed other instructors are that you perform every plie. And I, I think that that is what takes a dancer to the next level. And that's what all of her dancers have. I started dancing with Miss A when I was four. Um, actually, I think it was like a little before I was four. Um, but she trained me and taught me how to walk with my toe heel and turned out I was recently awarded tenure at the university. Um, and then I also was recently awarded a sabbatical to spend a year dancing and studying and doing research in Prague, Czech Republic. And I got to experience dance and ballet in all sorts of new ways. I'm continuing the legacy, yeah. Okay. I hope so, I hope I am. I, I carry her with me always, and her presence is always with me. Well, I have tradition. I believe in tradition, and I believe in saving the, uh, the wonderful legacy that so many wonderful ballet masters and, and dancers have uh, supplied the world over the years. And I want to believe in keeping that alive and not spoiling it. Yet, I do allow my dancers to go into contemporary work, too. I think they have to be current, but not to forget the past. And uh, I think that my school is one of the few that does that. And we also have performances for young people, uh, where we do full-length ballets once a year. And so many children never get to see a full-length ba ballet like Coppelia or Giselle are some of the pieces that we do once a year at the Two Hill. Okay, now you three girls, you cannot lock that wing. Robbie has, cannot lock that wing. Robbie has to get in before you, okay? Stay on the music. Last night you didn't leave in time. What I need you to do is when Waltz comes out, mm -hmm. they bow. As Waltz of the Hours mm -hmm. are backing up, that's when you sneak into the wings. So I think we're different. I think we have a, a fine uh, cast of uh, faculty, uh, people that are really dedicated as I am, and um, we have a special place in the city of St. Louis. We're different. Our world is so small. Dance, ballet, world, community is small. And with new technology and everything, we just communicate with everybody and knowing everybody. and. I am again happy to see one more time in my life that old schooled teachers are still teaching, directing, and giving the love, the knowledge to young generations. Because you always can learn a lot. That's why I appreciate it. To be here for that reason as well. Miss A is known pretty much everywhere. She turned out some really good uh, students who came professionals, even in Kansas City Ballet, um, the executive director and general manager found out that I was coming here and they said, where are you teaching next week? And I said, oh, I'm teaching at Alexandra Ballet. And they said, oh, Miss A, she's good. There's nobody else in St. Louis that holds a candle to her. You know, and it's, that's kind of the legacy that she's been leading. You know, some people leave legacies behind, <laughs> but she doesn't have to. <laughs> it follows her like coattails. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a joy and a pleasure and I'm very proud to be teaching here right now. 
Um, I think she is, like I said before, a lady with a capital L and a scholar. Um, I look forward to learning more from her. I have to say I, I owe everything to her. Just when I grew up as a child, very scared of her. <laughs> um, just the way she taught and she expected so much, but growing up and now becoming a young lady and a teacher, I see all those other things that she taught us, not just dancing. The list goes on and on and on. Um, discipline, working hard, never giving up, um, etiquette, um, how we just behave as a human being, and all those things I didn't understand at the time. I am a ballet teacher now, so I hear myself saying the same things that she would say to me, and I just have this little special place in my heart, and I smile, and I, I remember thinking, why, why did she keep saying that to me? But now, as a teacher, I understand those things. And I think about it just in life, too, not just as a, a ballet teacher. She said, Sandy, she said, don't you know that I correct you because I care about you? And I was like, huh? <laughs> it impacted my entire life because from that moment on, every correction, no matter how harsh, was a compliment. It meant she cared about me and she was going to make me into the dancer I wanted to be. Well, I had felt frustrated and, and was ready to give up. I mean, I was charged after that. I mean, I was like, come on, <laughs> I'm going to be a dancer. <laughs> Miss Alexandra said so. <laughs> it happened a different way than I thought, but I ended up teaching. And so instead of just impacting myself, I impacted uh, hundreds of dancers. And so that's a pretty good deal, huh? <laughs> Well, I started with Miss Alexander when I was about four years old in the early 50s at her first studio, which I believe was in the Gaslight Square area of St. Louis. And I'm proud to say that I studied with her exclusively through all of my training. She helped me uh, get a Ford Foundation scholarship to New York City. And I know she still does that. And that's to see potential in someone and help them fulfill their dreams. And that was what she did for me. And in that respect, I'm the first student who began as a child and became a professional ballet dancer. Well, Miss Alexandra has a vision, and she has lived that vision every single day. And she transfers that vision to you. So as a young child going into the studio at four, five, six years of age uh, and wanting to be a ballerina, I recognized very quickly that if I did what Miss Alexandra told me to do, and that was to work hard, stay focused, follow my goals and my dream, that that really would happen, and I believe that. And I think she does that for every student, and she makes that dream become a reality. I think everyone who has any experience with Ms. Alexandra says, you know, they walked away maybe knowing how to do a plie, but they left with so much more, and that is life skills and a heart filled with joy. Now, I was never sent to Siberia myself, although I did observe it, and I knew I never, ever wanted to go there. Oh, I was sent to Siberia on more than one occasion. <laughs> um, but I, see, that's the thing. When, when she's hard on you, it's because she cares. So, and I, that's, the, that's the thing with every single student. She was hard on every single one of us because whether or not she thought that particular student could be a professional dancer, she knew she had more important lessons to teach. But now looking back on it, I think I... I don't know that I appreciated it really as much as I should have in the moment. Everything was just very exciting and and you look now and you're like, how many kids really get to work with these kinds of choreographers and teachers at such a young age and that's something that I will be forever grateful for. She was always educating us about dance. So she wasn't just teaching us ballet steps, but she was teaching us about the history of dance, about famous ballerinas. Um, but she was also teaching us not just about the steps, but about the actual love of dance. And not a lot of teachers do that. You know, they're very, very strictly oriented to the technique of ballet that they're teaching. But she was just, she never missed a moment to have us 
look beyond the technique of a step, but also just the love of movement, the love of dance. I remember being in the waiting room uh, to go in for my ballet class, and I remember she had the little kids in the studio before us, and she would be holding up these pictures of the little uh, of the of the dancers, showing them to the little kids, and explaining who they were. You know, these current ballet stars, right? Which in itself was wonderful. So then, as you do with little kids, you know, you're teaching them how to like you know run and leap. Um, current day teachers, you know, they'll they'll put something down and say, okay, pretend you're leaping over a puddle, you know, or you're leaping over a cloud or something, which is great. It's a wonderful image. But Miss Alexandra took that opportunity. She would take those photographs that she laminated and put them on the floor. So you would be leaping over famous ballet dancers. And that just all stuck with me. I thought, how wonderful that, that even, even in the moment that she was trying to teach a ballet step, she was also trying to instill the wonder and the education of dance in her students. Something that I remember is that because probably because we were working so hard together, that I formed some really deep friendships there. And those people that I formed the friendships with are still, I count them among my friends today. Um, thank goodness for Facebook that we see each other that way and or when I go to St. Louis. But uh, you, know, you know, I've met many, many people. Um, and uh, because, I think it's because we formed those, because we work so hard together with her, with Miss Alexandra, um, it, it just means a lot to me that they're still in my life. Those people are still in my life today. You know that a studio is good when they churn out dancers after dancers after dancers. It's not a fluke. You didn't get just a talented girl who happened into your studio. It's that she trained people to just be at the top of their game. As, as you know, I mean, her dancers are everywhere. And um, I have yet to find a studio out here, which actually is upsetting to us. I really wish my daughter could have trained with Miss Alexander. I think she could have, you know, gotten farther ahead, frankly, um, than she's able to get. Because it, let's face it, it, it's all about what you put into it, but also your teacher and your parents as well. So anyway, nothing like her out here. Not yet. <laughs> I'm not sure how my parents found out about Butler University. It may have been through Miss Alexandra. I'm assuming it was. Um, they thought that I might like to major in dance, and I hadn't really thought that much about it. And I thought, okay, well, it's mm, that sounds good. So I didn't think I would get in, though. So Miss Alexandra invited me to come and live with her the summer after I graduated from high school, so that I could take classes every day instead of once every two weeks. And that was a lifesaver. I, um, I can't thank her enough for that. I cried. <laughs> it makes me want to cry just thinking about it. It set everything up for me. It made my whole career possible. Miss Alexandra encouraged me. That was very important. Um, it, it was nice to have somebody believe in me. And I really felt that I could do it because she thought that I could do it, and that was amazing to me. My mother took me to see the Nutcracker Ballet when I was 12 years old, and I remember turning to her and looking at her and telling her, that's what I want to do. I want to be a ballet dancer. And she said, do you think you really want to do that? It's a lot of work. And I said, I do. So my mother went home and that next week she went through the phone book, made some calls, asked some people, who's the best ballet teacher in the area? And we came up with Miss Alexandra. So my mother talked to Miss Alexandra after class and she said, well, <laughs> she's gonna have to start taking classes with the little kids. I was 12 and she said she's gonna be in there with seven and eight year olds, but she has to start from square one and learn the basics. So my mother said, do you think you want to do that? And I said, I do. This is the book that Miss Alexandra gave to me when she told me that I was going to be Giselle. So this is um, written in 1971. And she has this beautiful uh, message for me that may this book help you to develop a deeper understanding of Giselle. That was the beginning of her dream to start a ballet company and she wanted to do um, ballets, Keel Opera House, 
uh, and that day was still a big thing. I know it's been reincarnated now, but that was the big, beautiful place to have, it, uh, you know, a ballet or to see anything like that. You know, of course, um, ballets from Russia and everything came, and that's where they would always be in those years. You'd go to Kiel Opera House. Miss Alexandra <clears throat> was a big part of my life at that time. I loved her, I loved what she gave to me, and um, I'll have it forever. Well, Miss A, I know that you've become family to me, and I really feel that um, even when I first started here when I was younger, that you actually really cared for us as a person, and you understood that to create an artist, that's what you do. You, you care and you nurture for them. It's not an after-school activity and then go home to your parents, and that's not it. You always made a phone call if you felt need to. You really kept in touch with our parents to see how we were at home. You really know every single one of us. And to this day, I, <laughs> I brought someone in who knew someone younger and you're like, of course I remember her. You remember everyone that you've had from when you first started and it's because you really care. I have cherished every minute and uh, I feel like your students are so blessed. I know that it's rare out there. I've traveled the world and a teacher like you is extremely rare. And um, I'm just so grateful. So, thank you. Thank you. Me, too. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Thank you for giving me this gift of dance and art and beauty and teaching. Thank you. Miss A, all I want to say is thank you so much for giving me the life I have, and I owe everything to you, and I will always love you. Thank you. Dearest Miss Alexandra, I hope you know that I love you, I trust in you, I believe in you, and everything that you stand for. You are my mother, my fairy godmother, and my coach, my supporter, my advocate, You've made me the person I am today, and I thank you with all my heart. I'm sure you have no idea how significantly you've impacted so many lives. And I just want to thank you. And I'm so happy um, that 65 years of teaching is tremendous. And um, what a great role model. And I hope to see you soon. Much love. You were the teacher. You were, you were what made me what I became and in turn, what many other students that have grown up will become. I thank you so much for that. Thank you. Thank you, Miss A. It's been an amazing career, and I owe it all to you, and it will make me cry if I say too much more. <laughs> but thank you. I love you. So, Miss Alexandra, you know that you have always been special in my heart and I'm even tearing up now. What you gave to me, I'll have for the rest of my life, and you know that I'll always love you. I want to say thank you for everything you taught me, not just ballet and dance, but everything you taught me about life. All of the lessons I learned from you, I will carry with me forever, and I really, I just can't say thank you enough. Thank you. Thank you, Alexandra, for sharing with me the depth of your love for life and your love and passion for the art of ballet. Thank you so much for the gifts of your love. I love you. Thank you for seeing something special in this skinny little 12 year old that wandered into your studio all those many moons ago. Thank you for pushing me and for nurturing me and for believing in me. Thank you for sharing so generously your passion with all of us. We love you. You can spend five minutes in her class and know that Miss A just wants you to learn. 
and she will do everything she can in her power to help you learn. And it's her, it's that love. And so it's all kind of connected. So that's, yes, I love Giselle. I love Miss A. I'm very grateful for your friendship. Uh, we love you many more years. Thank you. Dear Alexandra, thank you very much for the past 25 years. Thank you very much. Dziękuję bardzo. Agromne spasiba. Muchas gracias.